Pluto's orbit is also tilted 17 degrees relative to the ecliptic, making its path appear steeper than that of the other planets. This combination of tilt and elliptical nature adds complexity to Pluto's orbital pattern. A notable aspect of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune. During each orbit, which lasts about 20 years, Pluto defies expectations given its position in the solar system and moves closer to the Sun than Neptune does. This raises the question, why has there been no collision between Pluto and Neptune? The explanation lies in the gravitational influence exerted by other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery and presented astronomers with a mysterious trajectory. Unlike most planets whose orbits are relatively close to the ecliptic, Pluto's unique features are its steep inclination and elliptical shape. The mystery deepened when it was discovered that Pluto's orbit intersects Neptune's orbit. Despite this complexity, the stability of Pluto's orbit serves as evidence of the inherent complexity of cosmic dynamics. The three-body problem in space involves understanding the motion and gravitational interactions between three celestial bodies, Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun. This is similar to predicting trajectories based on their initial positions and their mutual gravitational influence. In the case of Pluto, this problem reveals the complex interactions between Pluto's trajectory, Neptune's trajectory, and the Sun's gravity. Terms such as azimuth wobble, latitudinal wobble, and VZK wobble help solve this astronomical puzzle. Astrophysicists say that azimuth wobble, which is responsible for keeping planets in orbit, plays an important role in the context of Pluto and Neptune. This term refers to the fact that Pluto is at least 90 degrees from Neptune when it passes through its orbit, thus preventing a potential collision. The latitudinal wobble, which describes the vertical motion of a celestial body in its orbit, ensures that Pluto is well above the orbital plane when it approaches Neptune or the other giant planets, providing an additional layer of protection against collision. A key element in understanding celestial motion is the VZK wobble, named after three scientists, von Zeipel, Lido, and Kozai, who studied the gravitational interactions between three cosmic bodies, Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun. The VZK wobble explains why Pluto's orbit around the Sun appears odd, but remains smooth over time. Despite the apparent chaos of the universe, underlying patterns and rules maintain order. These factors combine to stabilize Pluto's orbit, preventing it from colliding with Neptune or veering off course. Numerical simulations from the late 1980s showed that despite its stable nature, Pluto's orbit is technically chaotic, with small initial disturbances causing large changes over millions of years. However, Pluto's unique orbit remains stable for incredibly long periods of time, suppressing the disturbances. Recent computer tests have improved our understanding of how the major planets Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn affect Pluto's path around the Sun. The special conjunction of Neptune, which completes three orbits for every two orbits of Pluto, promotes stability. Jupiter's gravity also plays a significant role, while Saturn's influence is less. Overall, the test shows that the combined influence of Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn ensures Pluto's safe and stable movement through space over billions of years. In the late 1980s, these simulations revealed an interesting aspect of Pluto's path. Despite features such as azimuth and latitude variations that contribute to its stability, Pluto's orbit can still be unpredictable. Small initial differences in Pluto's position or velocity can lead to large changes in its path within a few years. Despite this inherent chaos, Pluto's orbit has remained remarkably stable for billions of years. This suggests that Pluto's seemingly erratic journey around the Sun follows a structured order. Predicting cosmic events is particularly difficult for planets like Pluto, which have unpredictable orbits. The inherent unpredictability of these systems makes long-term predictions uncertain. Numerical modeling can help us understand and predict the future paths of celestial bodies, but it also exposes the limits of our predictive ability. These models rely heavily on precise initial conditions and complex interactions. Small errors can lead to large changes in the results making accurate predictions difficult. The chaotic nature of the orbits of objects like Pluto reminds us of a universe that is constantly changing. While we have made progress in understanding the universe, the case of Pluto highlights the limits of our current knowledge.
Understanding the gravitational influence of the giant planets orbiting Pluto could provide valuable information about the broader dynamics of the solar system. This shows how the presence and position of each planet can affect the stability and trajectories of other objects in the system. Despite these complex forces, leading astrophysicists are now expressing concern about the possibility of a collision between Pluto and Neptune. This raises the question of why such an unlikely collision, given these complex dynamics, is now a concern. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prominent astrophysicist who has played a key role in popularizing astronomy, offers a unique perspective on the mysteries of the solar system, particularly those surrounding Pluto. Famous for reclassifying Pluto as a dwarf planet rather than a full planet, Tyson shares insightful thoughts on how our understanding of celestial dynamics is constantly evolving. Tyson sees Pluto's reclassification not as a downgrade, but as a necessary adjustment to our growing knowledge of the many objects orbiting the Sun. His approach to celestial dynamics involves continuous learning and adaptation. He sees the complexity of orbits like Pluto as a reminder of how much remains to be discovered in the universe. Tyson believes that it is this unexplored fascination that makes astronomy so fascinating. Tyson also sees how cosmic events and discoveries shape the public's interest in astronomy. He believes that events such as Pluto's reclassification and unusual orbit are opportunities to capture the public's imagination and curiosity about the universe. By discussing the dynamic and sometimes counterintuitive aspects of cosmology, he opens a window for the general public to marvel at the wonders and mysteries of the universe. Working with other scientists, Tyson actively warns the public about the potential dangers of Pluto's unpredictable path. After studying Pluto thoroughly, he expressed concern that the three-body problem could be a real threat, suggesting that a collision with Neptune has long been in the works. Furthermore, he emphasizes how such a collision could upset the balance of the universe and have catastrophic consequences for Earth. A collision between Pluto and Neptune would be an unusual and catastrophic event in our solar system. The collision would release a tremendous amount of energy and would likely destroy Pluto due to its smaller size and icy composition. Debris from the collision would be scattered throughout the solar system, potentially posing a danger to other planets and moons. In the case of Neptune, such a collision could potentially alter its atmosphere and orbit, depending on the specific details of the collision. Michio Kaku, a theoretical physicist known for his string theory research and popularizing science, offers a unique perspective on this scenario. His views on the future of space exploration and the connections between celestial dynamics and theoretical physics provide deep insights into phenomena such as the orbit of Pluto.